HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Hello and welcome to HCAM News, Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to fill you in with what's happening in town. On this edition of HCAM News, we'll take a look at some scenes from the Hopkinton High School Class of 2018 Senior Awards Ceremony and Graduation Night. Hopkins Elementary hosted a whole school meeting to wrap up the year and Matt Clark has our HCAM Insider. But first, the Hopkinton Board of Selectmen approved two new officers to the Hopkinton Police Department. Wowie, that is a wonderful resume. We are so privileged and pleased to have you have you join us. Thank you very much. I'm very excited for the opportunity. We are very excited to have you on the force. Folks, questions or comments from Molly? Mr. Pastor? Hearing your resume and what you've been through, uh, surviving cancer is uh, it's incredible. Um, I'm so impressed to hear everything that you've done at such a young age that um, I feel safer knowing that you're going to be in town. Thank you. Yes, actually, you know, thank you very much for, uh, for choosing Hopkinton. We're, we're choosing you, but you had to choose us, and um, we're very pleased to have you here. You know, as, you could, as you could hear at the beginning of the meeting, you know, we're, a com we're a community that, that believes in, in giving and giving back, and you've absolutely proved yourself as, um, as a person that's going to fit in here beautifully. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, congratulations for making it through the Academy and um, for being chosen to be one of our newest officers. Uh, it's a great town to work in and, uh, you know, from the chief to the lieutenants to the sergeants to the patrolmen, you've got a pretty good group of people that you're going to learn from. So you learn from the best, take advantage of it, and uh, thank, you for, thank you for sticking with it and welcome to Hopkinton. Thank you. Thanks for joining. Great to see you. Um, I'm very impressed with what you've done so far in your life and some of the things you've overcome in your life. And I think that will bode well for you, not only in this job, but for the rest of your life. So uh, it's an honor to have you on the team. And uh, as an active uh, fundraiser in the cancer uh, research world, uh, I think you're a perfect fit for our town. Thank you. We could not be happier. So welcome to Hopkinton. We hope you'll be happy here. And I know we'll be, we're delighted to have you join us. Thank you very much. It's great. Okay, not to be outdone. <laughs> Jay, you got issues. Yeah. <laughs> He's Did a hometown you? kid. This will be I quick. just can't imagine. He's <laughs> 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 shaking his head. Yeah. Jay Diana grew up in Hopkinton, Mass. He is married to his wife, Alexandria, who he has two daughters with, Gabriel and Haley. Jay attended Hopkins High School and graduated in 2008. After graduating high school, Jay attended and graduated from Mass Bay Community College with a degree in criminal justice. In 2014, Jay completed the Boylston Reserve Intermittent Police Academy. Jay worked as a part-time dispatcher for the Hopkins Police Department in 2014 before becoming a full-time police officer at Simmons College in Boston. In January of 2018, he attended the Randolph Municipal Academy before starting back here, hopefully as a full-time officer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jay has run five Boston marathons. Well, that's pretty mm -hmm. nice. Raising money for various groups, including Hopkinton Running Club and the Hopkinton Police Association. He looks forward to continue, continue uh, to help Hopkinton as he considers a great community. Jay is uh, the son of William Diana and Karen Diana. Jay? Uh, I just want to thank you all for this opportunity. Uh, I've, been, I've grown up in this town. I know it very well. Uh, I love this town. I have deep love for this town, as does my family. And I just really look forward to uh, serving this town and uh, watching it keep growing as the great community it is. Thank you. 
it's really nice when people come back home. And uh, I just am delighted that we can, we can have our own Hopkinton uh, kids stay here and prosper and, and, and want to come back and give to the community that's given to them. So, um, you know, it's great when we attract the best from all over, and yet there's something really nice that we can, that we can keep our, our talented folks uh, right back here at home. So it's great to be welcoming you, Jay. I'm really pleased that you're going to be joining the force full time. And speaking of the young people, just made me think how both of you, Molly and Jay, in different ways bring different um, things that are really, really valuable and, and just timely for the needs of the town and particularly the young kids and you know the ability to relate and um, understand. And so I think you're, you're both going to be a real, a real asset and, and bring some very important uh, talents and resources to our force. So it's a, it's a. Happy evening to be able to welcome both to you to the force. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Very Thank much. you. Uh, do I need to make a motion? I guess I do. All right. Let's make this official. I request a motion to appoint Moira McGaffigan and Jay Diana as full time police officers for the town of Hopkinton. So moved. Second. And been moved and seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? It is unanimous and welcome aboard. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Hopkinton High School class of 2018 has officially graduated. Here is a look at the senior awards ceremony and this year's commencement ceremony. Good evening, everyone. I am Evan Bishop, principal here at the high school. And on behalf of our entire faculty and staff, I want to welcome you all to Senior Recognition Night for the class of 2018. A Hiller is driven to engage in the communities they are passionate about. Four years ago, some of you were grandfathered in by older siblings who helped guide you. For others, the beginning was overwhelming and the start of a search to find yourself. Regardless of your individual paths, you each have something unique that you have contributed to this school. Waiting senior who has dazzled her teachers with her intellectual talent and who has led her peers in true collaboration is Emily Dembinski. This scholarship is given in memory of Shane DeRoche, class of 2018. Shane touched many lives in his short time with us. His kindness, compassion, and humor are an inspiration to all who knew him. Awards are being offered to the following five students who exemplified his passion for music and composition. And please come up as your name gets called. Maz Ahmed. Next is David Antaki. Next is Robin Oslander. Next is Kate Hubner. And the fifth scholarship goes to Sunita Tandon. This is a scholarship that was created this year in memory of Brad Canty. At this time, I would like to invite up Becky Canty, Brad's mother, onto the stage to help give out the awards. The purpose of this scholarship is to recognize students who have exceptional character, have a kind and welcoming personality, have worked hard, and have overcome health issues and or obstacles life has put in their way. The 10 scholarship winners are Patrick Buckley, Sean Herlihy, Ellie McAuliffe, Peter Morse, Grace Nealon, Mallory Pishoff, Brenna Pettipit, Julia Pillarella, 
Olivia Rosen, and Alex Sanchez. Congratulations to these recipients on their hard work and accomplishments. I am the admissions liaison officer for the United States Military Academy at West Point. I would like you to meet a young man who has accepted the challenges of the West Point mission and has earned a scholarship that includes all tuition, room, board, medical care, and training, and is valued at over $300,000. Michael Ionelli, would you please join me? Uh, so Arthur, uh, he was one of, one of several thousand. Um, that uh, applied for an ROTC scholarship across the country. Uh, he earned a four-year scholarship to Texas A&M. Uh, and with that comes tuition and fees and, and education. Uh, the value of his scholarship is, uh, is a little over $140,000. Uh, this scholarship is given in memory of Mary Beth Marcadant Corby. And Mike and Callie Corby and their family will be presenting two scholarships to the seniors who best exemplify Mary's passion for athletics and community service. Now, Sarah Todd and Elizabeth Cooperman come up for the award. Next, we have a new scholarship that's provided by the Hopkinton Moms Group. It's a, this award is going to Delaney Johnson, who will be attending Westfield State University. I'd now like to invite up Laura McKenzie from the Hoppington Running Club, who will present the Pay It Forward Scholarship in memory of Andy Wellzell. The first scholarship goes to David Antaki, who cites Evren Gundas as his mentor. The second recipient is Regan Keeveny, whose mentor was Mary Corby. The Hopkinton Diversity Cultural Alliance, founded in 2016, provides opportunities to foster cultural connections. Oh, senior, who founded the Hopkinton High School Diversity Club, and was also the first student guest speaker for Hopkinton's annual Martin Luther King Jr. Day of Service. This year's recipient is Taz Warfurtis, honored to present their first certificate of appreciation to their youth liaison. She plans to pursue a career in pediatric medicine. This year's recipient is Tatiana Markovic. The Chang Family Fund Award is given for the first time this year. The Chang family offers this scholarship to two students who have chosen to follow their passion in the arts. This time, we're, they're awarded to Yu Yu Dong, who will attend Pennsylvania State University, and Vasatika Gadiyaram, who will attend UMass Amherst. We'd like to take a moment to recognize those students among this class who've earned their highest uh, achievement that a Boy Scout can earn. The Cameron e Allen, Dan, Dan Bradbury, Jack Dion, Joe Harrison, Peter Morse, Zach Ritterbush, and Dante Sivo. Last but not least, Anna Heavey has been awarded a Mary Roach Award, the Music Department Award for Orchestra. She's honored as a National Merit Commended Student who's gonna be studying at the University of Notre Dame this fall. And she is also the Class of 2018 Valedictorian. That concludes our award ceremony this evening. I want to thank you all for coming. I look forward to seeing everyone tomorrow night for the big ceremony. Uh, have a great evening and drive safe. Faculty, family, friends, and fellow graduates, welcome and good evening. We were energized and hopeful that our time at HHS would be transformative, empowering, and most importantly, fun. With effort, you will end up where you're supposed to end up. Don't let minor setbacks affect your confidence, for you are all destined to achieve great things. Hopkins High School Class of 2018, congratulations. As you take the figurative left on Boylston Street and cross the stage tonight to receive your diploma, Remember that you have made an important mark on HHS, and you will forever be a part of our community. Like many of you, the next step for me is college. In three short months, we will each be making homes in faraway campuses. These new places will be strange to us, and will take some getting used to. 
They might not have a single Duncan in a 50 mile radius, and the Patriots may not be the home team, but soon we'll slip up and call them home. And a bit later, we will confidently label them home. Over the last 12 years, I've had to attend my three older brothers' long high school graduations and even longer college graduations. So, you can imagine that nothing makes me happier than that they not only have to attend our graduation, but they have to sit and listen to me speak. <laughs> One of the hardest things to do is to cheer for someone else's success when that success is something that you wanted. But that is something I see in our class. We do this because we want to see our friends succeed in the things that are important to them. It has been an incredible journey, and although I am sad to see it end, I know it is time to move on. Godspeed, class of 2018. Go where you want to go. Be friends with the people that you want to be friends with, the ones who will make you smile and who support you. Don't let other people try to tell you who you are or what you like, because that's not what's going to make you happy. The teachers have always said that we were one of the best classes, and I couldn't agree more. It's been a pleasure growing up with you all, and I can't wait to see all that we accomplish in the years to come and the people that we become. So this year, we will be gifting a couch and two tables to the guidance office. In addition to this, we will also be replacing the broken water fountain outside the cafeteria with a more updated and economical water bottle filling station. Our class advisors this year have been Mrs. Elder and Mr. Longoria, and I can honestly say they have been the best advisors anyone could ever ask for. This 2017-18 yearbook is dedicated to Shane DeRoche and Brad Canty, two young souls who left us far too soon. Thank you to everyone on the yearbook staff who worked diligently to create a masterful memento, one that we'll all cherish for decades to come. The Marion T. Harris Award is granted annually to honor the memory of a former teacher who dedicated her life and career to the students of Hopkinton High School. I am pleased to present the Marion T. Harris Award to Nate Pucci. Graduates, I want you to know how much I will miss you, and more importantly, how proud I am of what you collectively and individually have become and achieved. Please don't lose sight of these basic tenets, like appreciating and living in the moment, stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while, being open-minded, and believing in yourself. I will always remember this group. You are a class I will compare others to for the rest of my career. Nathan James Pucci. Ted Joseph Torres. Ian Whitaker Holmes. Lu Chung Wang. Zachary Charles Sisiski. Caroline Marie Murphy. Led by your class president, Nate Pucci, move your tassel to the left side of your mortarboard. Acting Superintendent Kavanaugh, school committee members, administrators, faculty, family, and friends, as principal of Hopkinton High School, I hereby proclaim that the members of the class of 2018 standing before you have successfully met the requirements of a diploma as set forth by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts in this school district. It is my distinct honor to declare them graduated. HCAM programming is supported by our viewers, thank you, and by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. Welcome back to HCAM News. Hopkins Elementary wrapped up the 2018 school year with a whole school meeting featuring a look back on some memories throughout the year and a whole lot of entertainment. Here's a look. Hopkins School closed out the school year with a whole school meeting featuring awards, singing, dancing, 
and a whole lot of fun. Here's a look. At the end of the meeting, what started out as a dance to Taylor Swift quickly became a flash mob. programming is coming up on the HCAM channels. Here to tell you all about it is Matt Clark with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of the HCAM Insider. I'm Matt Clark and here's what's happening this week on HCAM. On Friday, June 29th at 5 p.m., poet and activist Harlem 125, also known as Jameel Adams, shares his poems advocating for justice and equality on a new episode of Wake Up and Smell the Poetry. Ask me if I can fly. And I, just like the last poem, will point down to the sky. Imagine how my unseen illness makes Wall Street gentrify. 
gentrified like I let my brain try. It tried. Tried to shatter your simple expectations of me. Like expected me to not be. Be special like Olympics. Olympic like champion. Champion like minority, minoritized, sexuality, sexualized, and G-O-B-T-Q. Q like quiet, riot, riot, not like comedy, comedy like Shakespearean tragedy. D like A-D-H-D, H-D like high definition. We and we like, and. On Monday, July 2nd at 8 p.m., the Hillers Varsity Boys Baseball team celebrates another season with the Hillers Baseball Banquet, airing on HCAM Ed. And on Friday, July 6th at 9 p.m., Cheryl Peralt talks with Hopkinton Board of Selectmen member Todd Sestari about his work and life in town on a brand new episode of Meet Your Neighbor. What brought you here in the history? Uh, wh why Hopkinton? How'd you get here? Yeah. Um, you know, my wife and I, we met in Boston, and we originally lived in Charlestown. And yeah. when wow. we got married, we moved to Winchester. We were mm -hmm. in Winchester for a couple of years. Then we started our family, mm -hmm. and we wanted to get a little bit closer to our families. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife grew up in Millbury. Mm -hmm. I grew up in the western part of the state, in West Springfield. Mm -hmm. So Massachusetts all your life? Yeah, Massachusetts mm -hmm. all my life, except while I was in school. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we wanted to move a little bit closer and have more of the family network together. And on HCAM Ed, the Ashland Legion Baseball versus Sudbury game will air. And stay tuned for the upcoming Concerts on the Common series. If you want to know more about all of HCAM shows before they air, then head over to hcam.tv slash connect, where you can sign up for our HCAM Insider newsletter. Or if you want to know more about what's happening in Hopkinton, you can sign up for our daily news updates. That's all for this week's Insider. I'm Matt Clark, and as always, thanks for watching, and have a happy 4th of July. Thank you, Matt. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget, you can stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. Be sure to head over to our website to take a look at upcoming events in town and the latest happenings throughout our community. If you have a Hopkinton-related video photo or story idea, I want to hear from you. Email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. As always, thanks for watching HCAM News. Take care and enjoy your Independence Day.